Welcome to Tell You Later, the show about everything and nothing. And now, here they are, Will Ryan and Katie Lee. Sincere thanks to all those who support us on Patreon. See the full list at the end of the show. By the way, there's always room for more. Hi, I'm Mr. Armadillo. Sorry, gotta go, so I can catch me the next episode of Tell You Later. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget. Do not fail to hit the subscribe button. And while you're at it, hit like. Right now. Hit it! We haven't got a title song for this show, so we're singing this thing instead. Okay. It's really just a substitute. Nonetheless, the melody may stay in your head. Oh, I hope so. Because it's a tune. It's a tune. You'll love to croon. You'll love to croon. Ah, but there's one thing you should know. We have to confess we do not possess a title song for this show. Ain't it peculiar? Believe it or not. We haven't got a title song for this show. Oops. <laughs> so, uh, hi. Hi. So you're wow. number 63 on the yes, list? Yes. Thank you for I coming. I hope you didn't mind really waiting. I appreciate it. It took a couple hours, but you know, anything in life is worth waiting for. That is so true. Anything good. Good, anything answer. good. Yes, answer. Good and answer. I, this will be this will be a good interview. Oh. We can tell because it's our last one and yes. we're really tired, so we'll mm -hmm. just get right through this. Do you startle easily? Uh, yes, but it keeps me on my toes. <laughs> Good answer. All right. All right. Great. Speaking of toes, yes. can you tie your own shoes? I can tie my own shoes. I can't tie my toes together, though. Oh, have hmm. you tried? Several times. Ah, okay. Good. That's peculiar. Yes, and... All right. Yes, and, and not uh, Valiant toes. attempt. Valiant attempt at tying valiant your toes. Attempt. Now, I have tied my tongue before. Hmm. I have been tongue-tied. Have you? Um, perhaps. Yeah, probably. Yeah, yeah right. but we're trying not to be tongue-tied. Mm. So the whole point of this is we need some interns here to help us not get tongue-tied, mm. to stay on task, to make coffee, and, you know, move furniture. Do you drink coffee? Uh, yes, I do. Oh, okay. Yes, I do. Well, I know he doesn't. Make some water, then. Yeah. Can you make some water for Will? I could do that. Can you do that? Yeah. Great. All right. I have some instant water, by the way, in case of an emergency. Good. Yeah. Just add what? Just add, Just add water. water. Okay. Yeah. okay. All right. So, um, <clears throat> moving along. Yes. Uh, should I give you my name? Do I need to do that? Oh, yes. Of oh. course. That's for the top of the thing. What is your name? Uh, Drew. 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 I kind of knew right. that. That's past tense, right? Uh, yes. Okay, good. Yeah. Um, before I was born, my parents used to call me draw, but you know, yeah, now you're no, I true. understand, believe me. Yeah, but are you how tense are you? Um, right now, quite, but that's I'm a little nervous. You're a little you know, nervous. Yeah, oh, interview. don't be okay. Yeah. Okay, it's Katie, all right. You have yes. a question? Yes, I do. Okay, my question this time is Do you prefer milkshakes or malteds? I am a milkshake man myself. Really? Mm -hmm. what what is that's been going so popular all day world? long. I, know. I don't think people even know about malted. I don't think they do. We're yeah. going to have to make them yeah, one okay. so they know. Right. But you know, that's all right. It's Milk okay. Shake again. Just, uh, you right. know what? We need to expand your, you know, definitely ice do. cream right. yeah. drink horizon. <clears throat> think, my associate, okay. Katie, here skipped a question, so I, I will handle that one. Great. Why is there no equation for the perimeter of an ellipse? Hmm. <laughs> I like to think that ellipses can't be defined. You know, they're, people are trying to put them in boxes, which is ironic because they're round, but you know, they just can't be can't be put into there. You know, no one can say what or who hmm. an ellipse is except for itself. Hmm. Yeah. All right. Well, that's kind of an egg-headed answer, isn't it? Yeah. All right. We'll go with that. I would have said ellipses for the plural, but uh, other than that, uh, I'd say because uh, you mentioned box. I would give them a Point eight. Well, no, that's a reasonable answer. Are you good at that? Okay, mm -hmm. fine. Now, um, all right. So, uh, next question. Uh, I'm gonna defer to okay. you again on that one. Okay, this we, is, I've been doing this, this all day anyway, long. And it seems okay. to be important to him. Okay. So whatever. Well, it is important. Do yeah. you find the anaerobic fate of the pyruvate inevitable, mm. poignant, or both? I'm gonna go inevitable. True. Okay. I think that is true. Good job. Yeah. Hey. 
Thank you. Yeah, I think you're the first one who said that. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, do you prefer Fragonar or Boucher? Boucher, definitely. Boucher. Oh. Wow, so many people prefer Boucher. Bouche. Ferme le Boucher. <laughs> and I can never remember which was the student of the other, but they're both great. So okay. Boucher, once again. You and need to ask the next one, Mr. Ryan. I do? Yes. Ditko or Kirby? <laughs> definitely Kirby. Hmm. Okay, he's That's still the king. All right. <laughs> so how far is it to the end of the universe, and is there a shortcut? Decently far, and you know I don't think there are many shortcuts in life, so I think you gotta go, gotta go the whole way. Well, the universal shortcut is to just say I don't know, but that's okay. Yeah, because yes. you did it without saying that. Yeah, and that's good. Very good. Okay, I'll okay. give a check to that. That gets a check. Hmm. All right. Uh, what is your favorite prime number? Mm, definitely eleven. Eleven. Mm. And why is that? I just like that there are prime numbers past 10. I like double digits. Oh, yeah. interesting. You're a numbers guy. Okay. A little numbers bit. guy. Oh, you got so many different numbers today. Yeah. Okay. All right. So, classic question. Of course. <laughs> Shemp or Joe? Oh, Joe. Joe? Joe. Wow. Okay. Wow. So, well, yeah. you know, they are a little bit younger than us. Yeah, but everybody knows the Stooges. Okay. All right. That's true. <clears throat> now, due to what science calls dark energy, Ooh. the universe is constantly expanding. Exactly what hue is dark energy? Mm, that's a tough question for me. I am colorblind, so you know, um, colors are a little tricky. So I'm going to go with the classic and say black. Hmm. Okay. Oh. Reasonable. Colorblind. Wow. Then yeah. how does that come in handy? Um, it gets me out of a lot of things, um, specifically um, when people are trying to settle debates and they ask, you know, arguing, you know, what color, what color is this dress? Should I wear this? Yeah, Should exactly. I wear that? I, you, are, go, you get to go have coffee or yeah, go exactly. take a walk I, yeah, or play I with just, the dog or mm -hmm, something I, like that. I get to keep myself out of the drama and just say, hmm, you know, sorry, that, not the right person. And you that. get to enjoy movies with Jean-Paul Bamondo mm -hmm. or... Humphrey Bogart and, and just the classic movies. Well, I think we all get to enjoy those movies. We we do, but sometimes all right, people movie, don't take advantage right of Moving right along, them. yes. Okay. Uh, da, 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 da. Ah, okay. How many eternal truths are there, and can we sometimes weasel out of them? To mm. enjoy the full episode, please support us at patreon.com slash tell you later. Thanks a lot. And I guess either Joe or Bill said, Hannah... Or, and Barbara said, faster and louder. Yes. And once he changed the direction, he was able to keep his job. That's the direction, faster. Faster, yeah. louder. Fa faster was basically the, when, uh, when it uh, descended down to, uh, what's her name, Andrea. Mm -hmm. uh, faster was the only direction I ever heard. Andrea Romano. Even Even for a character like Peg Leg Pete. What does he sound like? Why, it's yours, Ebenezer, the richest man in the cemetery. <laughs> now don't hurt yourself. And he had a kind of a slow, villainous way of speaking. And but he not, had to do it but faster? But not under her baton. No. Because she didn't know the character. <laughs> well. She, all of a sudden, she was directing at Disney's, didn't know any of the characters. But she might have just thought I think it over time, better. she might have found out. Yeah. But, uh, Okay, so do you have other? What else would would you? What would you like people to know about you? Because you know, we I are not Mandalay pictures, <laughs> but okay, we can learn more about that in yes. a minute. We are not Mandalay mm -hmm. pictures, but we are tell you later. Yes, and you know, you're once you do your job, there's going to be millions of people watching this show and becoming patrons, right? Yeah, and that's going to be fantastic. Good so, answer. what would you like <laughs> them to know about you? Well, I would like them to know that these two are really nice, and they're great, and you should like and subscribe. Um, <laughs> Another great ah! <laughs> All right. Wow. Thank you. She's already hired, yes. too. <laughs> All right. Woo. And about me, I, you know, I like reading. Good. I like animals. I like art direction. Hmm. That's about... And who's he? Art direction? Yes. He... <laughs> is a man I've been chasing after for a very long time. Oh, ah, so, okay. well, if you're out there, Art, here she is. <laughs> oh, 
Okay, what else do you want to know about Mandalay pictures? Uh, well, I want to know, other than uh, that one title, so, some of the other oh, ones. Oh, Soul yes. Surfer. And do they have a general bent? Oh, they don't so that's what I wasn't Western telling you. I think Soul Surfer was a true story about a girl who was a real surfer and got her arm bit off by a shark. So it's not a cross between the Black Panther and... Uh, no. Silver Surfer. No, it's no, okay. no, no, okay. no. So it's another shark movie, is what you're saying? Uh, Not really. Mm. <laughs> no. okay. okay, I don't mean to dismiss it. That's it. that's very interesting. It was a yes, yeah, true story. And it they, um, if I'm not wrong, uh, they um, uh, produce these movies economically. And do they four wall? Do you, do you know yet? Do they do their own, their own distribution? Probably? What yes. does four wall mean? Well. Um, well, that's where you actually rent out the theater yourself. But I think that they've reached a point where they can just distribute it. Yes. And people are very surprised at the income these films pull in. Yeah. Yeah. So they might be able to pay you. Hopefully. Not yet, but ooh, maybe. Well, I hope so. Yeah. yeah. So what else did you... Other, what other films have they done? Well, they made one of my favorite cheesy horror movies. I Know What You Did Last Summer. Oh. One, two. I Know What You Did Last Summer. Is that the name of it? Um, I know what you did last summer. Yes. yes. Okay. I don't hmm. like horror. I love horror. Really? Well, yeah. Oh, They're some cheap people to make do. And they can be very popular. You know, I just came back from Kentucky where we had the Lexington Comic and Toy Con. And next, they're having Scarefest there. So everybody was getting so all fun. excited about Scarefest. <laughs> <laughs> I would like that. You would? Yeah. Okay. Well. Cool. Well, I, I'm an old school fan mm -hmm. of uh, <clears throat> anything with Boris Karloff. Okay. And and those guys, you know, uh, Bela and um, Bela Lugosi. Si. Ah. <laughs> what else? I want some blood. Let's I want see. to drink your blood. I believe they made a biblical movie. Oh yeah. I'm not entirely sure what it's called. They have a the, they have a lot of indie movies. Uh huh. Very that independent. That they pick up. That they pick yes. up. Yes. Ah, okay. Um, that keeps the the wheels turning. Yeah. Yeah. If you if you walk down the hallway, they have a bunch of movie posters. So if you want to know more, come to Mandalay. Come to Mandalay. Maybe right. you'll she'll invite <laughs> Great. us. Great! I can't wait to get to Mandalay where the flying fishes play, <sighs> and the dawn comes up like thunder. Mm, Mandalay boy. Bay. <laughs> right. Where is Mandalay Bay? I don't know, but I'm talking about the road to Mandalay. Oh, that's a different... Well, don't you think it goes to Mandalay Bay? Perhaps. What do you think? Yeah. Okay. Sure. <laughs> you you want to know what I think? What? Tell you later. Tell You Later is a Patreon-driven entertainment show. So what are you waiting for? Come on over. Join us for so much more at patreon.com front slash tell you later. The two of them did not arrive at the studio in time for their program. So we are co-hosting it yes. right now <coughs> in their stead. Yes. The purpose is to tie up all the loose ends from the early chapters of Tell You Later. Especially from episode one right now. Right. Yes.